WTBC 7 News at 5 on your side. Right now at 5, ready to ship. Johnson and Johnson prepares its vaccine for delivery across the country. A one dose vaccine that could be a game changer in the fight against COVID-19. And as more people get vaccinated, attention returns to getting children back in the classroom. Now, this has been an ongoing debate across the DMV. And today, 7 on your side is hearing from teachers and parents in Prince George's County about what they want. ABC 7 Maryland Bureau Chief Brad Bell joining us live right now from Bowie with the results of a new parent survey. Brad. Yeah, that's absolutely right. Parents were able to say exactly what it is they want. Look, Prince George's County was the last major school district in the state to, to say what they were going to be doing, moving into in-person hybrid learning in April. And they put out this survey. It closed last night. We got the results just a little while ago, and it turns out the vast majority want to stay home for the rest of the school year. Nine-year-old Terry Sweat smiles as she attends school on her dining room table, but her mom says she's getting tired of virtual learning. I got a what I call a nine-ager, if you know anything about nine-year-old little girls who's ready to go back to school. And so Sweat, a longtime PTA officer and activist, says somewhat reluctantly she and her husband chose the hybrid in-person virtual model on the just-closed Prince George's County Schools survey of parents. She wants to go back because she wants to be with her friends. She wants to be in class with her peers. And as a mother, I, I understand that, I get that. In Prince George's County, she is in the minority. According to the just completed survey of 122,000 parents, just 30% have chosen to send their students into classrooms for two day a week hybrid learning. Among those who absolutely don't want to go back, this high school teacher who also doesn't want to be identified. We feel like the rug was pulled out from under us. He's been fully vaccinated yet still doesn't feel safe, so he reached out to Seven on Your Side to share his feelings. He says opening buildings for so few students makes no sense to him. Even the kids in the room are still going to be on Zoom. They're going to be sitting in their chairs on their laptops for 90 minutes staring at you teaching from a computer. Why upset the apple cart right before the fourth quarter? Even Tanya Sweat, whose daughter is going back to school, admits she's not entirely comfortable. We're going in faith. We're going in faith. Hoping that she doesn't contract something that she brings home unknowingly. So we're continuing to work the story. Late this afternoon, the school system sent a letter out to parents and, and they're discussing really for the first time the impact of virtual learning. It has been profound according to the CEO of the school system and we'll have that aspect of the story when we come back at six. In Bowie, Brad Bell, ABC 7 News.